honoring the leadership that watch our souls. I'm gonna try to deal with that a little bit. Said, let me read my text. It come from, man, I'm way over here. It come from <clears throat> Hebrews 13th chapter and seven verse. Seven verse, and I'm going to read the 17th verse too. It says, Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose, whose faith follow. Consider the end of their conversation. Verse 17 says, Obey them that have ruled over you and submit unto them for they watch for your soul as they listen that they must give an account that they may do it with joy and not with grief for that is unprofitable unto you. Praise the Lord. We thank God. Uh, I'm going to use your theme. We thank God for Pastor Ricks. Amen. Uh, thank you, Pastor, for the years that you come to us. And, you know, Pastor Ricks is a good pastor. Amen. Nobody have to tell me that. He's a good pastor. And uh, one of the things that I really uh, thank you ought to give yourself a big old hand of applause by taking this time out, setting it aside just for Pastor and Sister Ricks. Give yourself a hand. <laughs> that is wonderful. And as I look out, I know what you're doing is not uh, a fake. Because when you see the love in their heart, when you see the smiles on their face, my, my, my. And what they are doing, they are doing this from their heart. My, my, my. That is good. They're not no show but they're doing it, honoring their pastor. My, my, my. You know, uh, uh, a leader must know his job. Uh, and the scripture says, let the elder that rule well be counted Worthy of double honor. My, my, my. Well, you honor him today. You honor him with your substance. You honor him by showing him love. You honor him by being obedient to him. You honor him by your presence. Yeah, yeah, just your presence uh, mean a lot to a pastor. Yeah. It just folk that he just look for. Yeah. He just look for certain peoples and they encourages his spirit. Yeah. You ought to, uh, uh, I said earlier that you ought to give honor mm -hmm. to whom honor is due. My, my, my. Give him credit for uh, being a good pastor. Give him some praise. My, my mother told me, uh, she told our family, she said, listen, when I die, I don't want y'all to get me now flower. I want my 
I want to see my flowers now so I can smell them. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so, so uh, that's what she wanted. She wanted us to honor her while she was living. And that's what you're doing today. You're honoring Pastor and his wife today. You don't have to be thinking about what you could have done or what you should have done. And I know you love Pastor because he's just that kind of man that make you love him. Listen, listen, listen. And then he said for the leadership, uh, how he's leading you, it, that's a blessing. You know, everything rises and falls on leadership. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, it falls on leadership. A leader who uh, says, uh, uh, who says, uh, less us do this, or let us do that. My, my, my. He is a good leader. And you know, you have uh, two types of leaders, three types of leaders, rather. You have what we call a, uh, uh, a leader that lead by fear, one that lead by control. One that lead by intimidation. And we have the, the fourth one that lead by love. And that's what pastor does. He lead because he loves you all. Praise the Lord. And then there are two types. <laughs> There's two types of leaders. Uh, number one, you have an uh, unlimited leader. And then you have a limited leader. Right. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, a leader who just only teach people to follow him. He's limited. But a leader that teaches people to be leaders. He is unlimited. My, 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 my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, it's, listen, listen, listen. And... Uh, Jesus taught people to be leaders. He's, Peter, Peter, come here. I'm going to make you fishers of men. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and when he sent out his disciples, he sent them out two by two. Hallelujah. They come back rejoicing and all of that, because the devils were uh, subject to them. And Jesus told them, don't rejoice because the devil is subject to you. Rejoice <laughs> because your name is written in the book. My, 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 my. Amen, amen, I tell you. Uh, mm. And so, uh, uh, listen. Jesus, what he did, Jesus shared uh, the responsibility of leadership. He shared it with others. And that's why he had crowds of people following him. My, 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 my. Listen, 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 listen. Uh, he was able to delegate his authority to his disciples. Listen, listen. Uh, uh, and now we uh, look at the rule, the rule, rule. Those that over you. Uh, the scripture says, first of all, that those that over you, those that pastor you, those that uh, lead you, those that guide you, those that teach you, those that preach to you, uh, those that are the shepherd, those pastors and bishop, my, 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 uh, who have what? 
the scripture says, who have spoken the word of God, those who have talked the word of God, those who preached the word of God, those who demonstrated the word of God in their life. Uh, and that's part of it. He said, and those uh, uh, faith followed them. They said, they faith followed them. First of all, he has to believe himself. He had to have faith himself. My, 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 my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot uh, lead folk without faith. You gotta have faith. Faith. The Bible said, uh, the just shall live by faith. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Ah, my, my, my. Listen, um, the scripture tells us, listen, uh, about what we're about, uh, the word. It says, the word is sharper than a two-edged sword. And that's pretty short. It cut going in and it cut come out. My, my, my. Jesus one day, listen, was out on the mountainside teaching. And he began to tell it. There's many people following him, but few of them was the disciples. And he said to them, say, listen, except you eat of my flesh, and drank of my blood. You cannot be my disciple. And the crowd uh, began to walk away and say, this is a hard saying. We can't do that. They left. And Jesus looked around at Peter and said, will you also go away? He said to him, Lord, <laughs> thou hast the word of eternal life. My, 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 my. Thou hast the word of eternal life. Isn't that all right? Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And at another time, the disciples uh, fished all night long. They didn't catch a thing. And Jesus came to them the next morning and said, uh, do y'all have any meat? They said, no, master, we fished all night long. And we didn't catch a thing. He said to Peter, put your net on the other side of the boat. Now, Peter, remind you, Peter was a fisherman. He made his living by fishing by night and selling it during the day. And he put, he did what Jesus said. He said, listen, nevertheless, at your word, I will let down my net. He let down his net. My, 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 my. So he let down his neck. And the last part of it says that in this scripture, it says, uh, it says, uh, consider the end of their conversation. Consider what they taught you. And then live according to what he taught you. Lead, in other words, we are to be imitations of Jesus Christ. We, we should in, imitate him. My, my, my. Should imitate it. And you know, this chapter started off with, uh, I like the way it said, it started off with brotherly love. It said, let, let brotherly love, what, continue. Uh, let brotherly love continue. That's something that, it's very important. That's something that we, uh, as the children of God, must love. Yeah, yeah. Even those that hate you, and you know it, you still got to love them. My, 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 my. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's important to every Christian to love and impart that love to every member of your church. Yeah. My, my, my. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's by the grace of God that you're able to love. Yeah. Peter, uh, I mean, Paul decided to write a letter to the Thessalonian. He said, look, as far as love, there's no need of me writing to you concerning love. 
because you you is a loving church. Yeah, you, you you're loving church. Uh, <laughs> brotherly love. Let's let glance back at brotherly love. In the first place, it it, it means Christian brotherly love. You, you, you can't train uh, a sinner how to love. Well, he said, if you kill my cat, I'm going to kill your dog. But Jesus said, uh, uh, we are to love those that despitefully use us. My, 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 my. God is good, I tell you. I tell you, he is good. Only as we love them for Christ's sake, because we love Christ. Yeah. Listen, yeah. listen, listen. Uh, uh, have, you look at having a true brotherly love, it, it, it's good. It's nothing wrong with a brotherly love. The writer said, Behold, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. My, 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 my. Uh, Listen, listen, we don't measure our love by what people give to us. We, we, we don't measure our love by that. We measure our love by the pattern of Jesus Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. This revealed his standard. And he had been, uh, this standard had been for before us, and it is plainly, again and again, uh, when the... Uh, Savior announced to a disciple, he said to them, a new commandment have I given unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. Very soon later after that, he, he repeated the same thing. Love you one another as I had loved you. My, 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 my. And I heard him going on and said, listen, not only that, but he got, he showed him, he showed them the proof of his love. He said, greater love had no man than this, that a man would lay down his life for his friend. You are my friend. John says, uh, in the first John, John said, listen, hereby perceive we Love God because he laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brother. Yeah. <laughs> Laying down his life for us is a mystery of redemption. Yeah. Amen. The, 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 the strongest revelation of divine compassion. Uh, the intermost absolutely good is uh, let brotherly love continue. Well, how do I attain this standard? How do I stand, obtain this standard of love? It is good. Listen, listen, listen. You, 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 first thing you do, you have to be born again by the Spirit of God. My, my, let the, let the love of God be in your heart. Yeah, let the love of God be in your heart. Listen, listen, listen. It, 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 listen, listen. The brotherly love has a good deal to do for us to endure. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, divine, it's a divinely strong. It holds us together. A love divinely generous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now let us look at some reason why uh, it's first. Uh, his power to live and to grow. It, the, the love has power. If you start loving those that don't love you, just keep on loving them. I guarantee you it will return. <laughs> yeah, yeah, brotherly love is living and it is power. It is a sign of grace, a mark of true love. For love buries all things, love endure all things. Love uh, suffer all things. Love is kind, love uh, envy not. Uh, love vanish not itself. Love is not puffed up. Love do not behave itself unseemly. 
Love don't seek it its own. No, 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 no. No, it don't seek it its own. Love is not ooh, easy provoked. Love uh, take no account of the evil that you store up on him. Love rejoices not in iniquity, but love joy rejoice in the truth. Love, listen, love buries all things. Love believe it all things. Love hope it all things. For love endureth all things. Why? Because love never fails. He said, uh, uh, faith, hope, and love. One day faith, all of your faith is going to come. Going to come to an end. One day what you was hoping for, going to come to an end. But love is eternity. Why is love eternity? Because God is love. <laughs> God is love, I tell you. Listen, listen, listen. Let me, let me go on now and close out. I need to close out. Can you read that I need to close out because there's a couple, there's something else he says in this plain scripture. He said, uh, so that you may boldly come before the Lord, uh, that you may be able to say, <laughs> uh, the Lord sh shall not leave me. I will not fear what man can do to me. Good God Almighty. You know, I, uh, the Lord is my helper. Yes. And I, 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 I won't fear, I won't get afraid what man can do to me. Yes. So that I'm able to go to God boldly yes. and make my complaint. Yes. Tell God how things is going. Yes. Tell God that <laughs> I need you to, I need for you to make uh, my enemy behave. Yeah, he knows how to do that. He can make them stumble and fall. Good God Almighty, God, listen, one writer said, God is our present help in time of need. God is not alone, ways off. He is present with us. Right now, the Lord is in our hearts. Good God Almighty, but He, the Lord said, He is our helper. I won't leave you nor forsake you. The Lord, listen, one writer said, The Lord is my light. He is my salvation. The Lord is my strength. I shall, listen, I shall not fear what man will do to me. I told you early that any leader, yeah, to try to do everything all by himself won't be a successful leader. Let me see, can I call a witness? Come here, John, come here, just a roll. Yeah, just a roll, saw Moses. And the people would come and stand before Moses all day and all night. Good God Almighty, he was standing and he told Moses, Moses, this is too heavy for you. This job is too big for you. Doing it all by yourself. I stopped by to tell you, a tired preacher ain't good for nobody. Not himself, not God. You have to get some rest. Listen here, delegate your authority, get you some help. And just preach the word of God And Jethro told him i tell you what you need to do Find some able men And teach them the law and the statute And then let them be over a thousands And then let some be over hundreds And let some be over fifty Good God Almighty And let some be over ten Yeah, he consulted with God God told him to go head on and do what your father and I told you. And Moses began to do that and everything worked out for him. Yes, he did. I'm glad today that he is my helper. I can tell you another story. One day, one day, Moses was out in the wilderness in the valley, brother, fighting the Amalekites. And the Bible said he stretched out his arm. Good God Almighty, he held it on my. He got tired 
holding him high. He said the Bible said it got heavy, so he needed some help. It's good to have help around you. And the Bible said Moses, Moses said the heaven and he came and held his arm up for a while, but they got a rock and propped his arm up. That's what a good leader, that's what good leaders would do. They look out and see that you need something. They go on prepared for you. Good God Almighty, I'm glad at being a leader. We don't know sometimes. We don't know what we got to go through. But one thing about uh, the songwriter said, yeah, I like the drum writer said, trouble on every hand. We do not know all the way that God should lead us to a best from the land. He guide us with his eye. We'll just follow till we die. We don't understand it now, but by and by, by and by, when all the saints get together, yeah, we will tell him, good God Almighty, I We'll tell him, yeah, we'll tell the story. One writer said, how we got open, good God Almighty, as I talk to you today. There the songwriter goes on and said, temptation and healing his stand. Often take us unaware, our heart is made to bleed for some thoughtless word or deed. Good God Almighty, we don't understand it now, but one day we will understand it. Good God Almighty, if you're having trouble, if you're having heartaches, if your friend, if your friend turn it back on you, if the enemy is on your trail, just take a bow. I don't understand it now, God. But I will understand it by and by, by and by. When the morning comes, I will understand it. I will be able to tell others how the Lord brought me over. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad that He is a great helper? Yeah, He's a good man, I tell you. But one Friday evening, mean men, they thought they want to get rid of Him. Mean men walked him up. God got the heal. I heard him say, No, I dare you to lift me up. But they disobeyed him. They lift him up. I heard him say, If you lift me up, I'll draw. I'll draw all men to me. They lift him up high. They speared him in the side. Yes, they did. They spiked his hand. They spiked his feet. He died, I tell you on that cross but one thing about it they took him down from the uh, from that cross they buried him and Joseph knew too it was a borrowed tomb I can hear him say when he got ready to get up he said thank you tomb for carrying me thank you for putting me down let him put me in this tomb but I'm telling you I'm going away I'm going to my father I'm going to sit down at the right hand of my father and make intercession for and make intercession for everybody. That's why I'm so glad he made intercession for me. I was on my way to a devil's hell. He talked to God for me. He said, that old boy, yeah, that old boy, he's on his way to hell. But listen here, I can redeem him. Yes, I can. I can bear him back. And that's why he got up and went to his father just for me. I tell you, that for you. He redeemed you. I'm glad he did. I said, I'm glad. I'm glad that he's an all right God. He's a God that can walk with you. He's a God that can talk with you. He's a God that can tell you, you're my own. I'm glad today. Good God Almighty. Hey! 